Hello, you are welcome. How to simplify 7 power 5 plus 7 power 4 plus 7 power 3 plus 7 power 2 plus 7 without making use of a calculator. So let's start. We can rewrite this as 7 power 4 plus 1. Then we have plus 7 power 4. Then we have plus this. We can have it as 7 power 2 plus 1. We have plus 7 power 2. Then we have plus 7. Now the next thing we are going to do is to consider this identity. If you have a power m plus m. This equals a power n times a power m. So we apply this identity right here and here. So we are going to have 7 power 4 times 7 plus 7 power 4 plus 7 power 2 times 7 plus 7 power 2 plus 7. So we have 7 power 4, we have 7 power 4. We can factor that out. That means we are going to have 7 power 4 times we divide this by 7 power 4 we have 7 plus we divide 7 power 4 by 7 power 4 we have 1 plus 7 power 2 here 7 power 2 here we factor up 7 power 2 times we divide this by 7 power 2 we have 7 we divide 7 power 2 by 7 power 2 we have plus 1 now we have plus 7 so what do we do Let's add up what we have inside the bracket. We have 7 power 4 times 8 plus 7 power 2 times 8 plus 7. Now, what can we do? We have 8, we have 8, we can factor out 8. Now we are going to divide this by 8. We have 7 power 4 plus we divide this by 8. We have 7 power 2 plus 7. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can further split this down. We can have 8 times, let's make use of square bracket. Now we can rewrite this as 7 power 2 or power 2 plus 7 power 2. Then we have plus 7. So what next can we do? The next thing is for us to factor out 7 power 2 because we have it here, we have it here. So you can have 8 times 7 power 2. Then this 7 power 2 we can have times there's another 7 power 2. Then if you divide this plus, if you divide 7 power 2 by 7 power 2, you are going to have 1. Then this is the end of the bracket. So let me put it well. Then you have plus 7. Definitely, if you multiply this out, you will definitely get what we have right here. Now, let's proceed. The next thing we are going to do is we can have our 8 times what is the value of 7 power 2? This is 49 times this will give us 49 plus 1 plus 7. So this will give us 8 times 49 times 49 plus 1 is 50. Then we have plus 7. So we can further rewrite this as we can have it as 8 times 49 times 50, then we have plus 7. So we just multiplied everything. Now, what do we do? From here, we can say let m equals 50. So if m equals 50, that means we are going to have 8 times this will be m minus 1 times this will be m and we have plus 7. So if you multiply this out, we are going to have 8 times m squared minus m. Then we have plus 7. So remember that our m recall 
m equals 50. So we are going to insert 50 for m. That means we are going to have 8 times 50 squared minus 50. Then we have plus 7. So the next thing is for us to evaluate this. So we have 50 squared minus 50. 50 squared equals 50 times 50, that is 2,500. And we subtract 50 from it, we are going to have 2,450. Then we are to multiply this number here by 8. So we have times 8, that is 8. Let me write it well. So what do you do? We multiply it out. So 8 times 0, we have 0. 8 times 5, that is 40. We are going to have 0 and carry over 4. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus 4 is 36. So we have 6 and carry over 3. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. So we have 19,600. Now that is the result of this particular one here. That's 8 times 50 squared minus 50. Now we still have plus 7. So what do we do? We add 7 to the answer. That means our final answer is 19607. So this is the result of our simplification and evaluation. So the final answer is 19 607. So that's it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe, share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.